going on YouTube? Jimmy Sprigioni, coming back at you from Jersey. It's April 21st, giving you guys an update on the garden. First off, if you guys have been following along, you can see obviously that we moved the greenhouse cold frame. And it was pretty easy. My brother and I just picked it up, took all the shelves out of it actually first, picked it up, moved it back to wherever we wanted to move it. it took about five minutes. So, I'll show you guys how things look. Your cell's looking pretty good. A lot of this stuff, the lettuce is really, really starting to put out leaves. As well as some of the brassicas in the front. So, it's that thing in the back, I'm, I'm still not sure what it is, is getting a lot bigger also. You can see the mushrooms have moved into uh, pretty much every single every single cell that we that we have now over here so we're pretty sure we got the mycorrhizae association at least going out going on throughout this front here so far and hopefully it'll keep spreading but you can see this cell is also doing pretty well onions are getting a lot bigger green beans are starting to put out their true leaves you can see the carrots have a bunch of their true leaves you can see like right here something came is probably the white cabbage butterfly because it's been around probably laid some eggs and he started eating at this but right next to it, we have another one so another reason why we like to plant densely so there's enough for everybody it's enough for the bugs enough for insects enough for us also another instance right here something got to it but and back there too a bug got to it so th it must have not been healthy for some reason, but it's starting to put out its true leaves and they don't look like they're getting attacked, so. Looks like it's doing well. And then, back here, this is one of our, like, experiment, funny idea kind of things we have. We got a bush bean here, and then we're going to try to get a pea or a pole bean growing up a bush bean. So double the bean in one spot. Double the yield. Just going to play along with that, see how that works. Look at that nasturtium too in the front. She's looking pretty good, even though a little pale. See the, these mushrooms in these in these cells are just getting huge. But you can tell plants. It's not like the plants don't like this mycorrhizae association. Look at this carrot growing right in it. We got I, we threw through seeds everywhere we saw the mushrooms. So it's actually a piece of grass. Big onion. So the plants like the mushrooms, obviously. It's more growing. They're growing right with them. More mushrooms and uh, some lettuce and stuff, and then some of the cells in the back. Oops, let me get out of here. See the red romaine lettuce? It looks, in my opinion, like I said last time, looks beautiful. It's coming along better. So is that? It's got a lot of mustard greens and stuff. Things coming along. Back sale coming along. And this whole garden is just going to be hopefully full of plants. And the only place you're going to be able to walk are the bricks. So we've gone along and we've seeded a couple of places on the ground between the bricks. And we actually also made a, a bunch of seed bowls with almost all the rest of the seed bowls that we have. I mean, all the rest of the seeds that we have, we made seed bowls with. And we made a video to get a bunch of videos of them splicing them together and then I'll do an update of how we make them for you guys then we'll throw them out we're gonna throw them anywhere that we don't see something growing pretty much filling all the space sales doing pretty well also as well as this one you can see back here we got like some of the maple trees growing look at the, look at the colors on these they're so purple already it looks beautiful we got a little baby apple tree here. We've got so many apple trees growing. And uh, in the front here, we've got a grape. This is kind of our entrance. We've got a grapevine that we're going to have growing up this side of each entrance. So it's like a trail is coming over the top when you enter. Nice entrance coming in, hopefully. Another grape. This is one of the great ones we planted last year, and it's 
it's starting to wake up as well as all all the strawberries they're really waking up and then in the strawberry patch we came through we planted beans and uh, and peas and put onions in the corner to help deter any pests but we plant beans and peas to help fix nitrogen to give the strawberries a nice boost and you can see right here it's another apple tree put an apple tree in there this one's coming along really starting to put out its true leaves because we got a lot of stuff growing so far. This is more beans and peas. These look healthier. Another one of those plants, I'm not sure what it is. It's gotta be important though, because I put it in a bunch of cells. And a bunch of carrots all throughout this one also. Some things coming up over here. And this is where the cold frame used to be and we plant direct seed all that we're just waiting stuff to come up and also over here but this is what was in the cold frame greenhouse so it did well and all the stuff didn't have too much of a problem transferring from uh, inside the cold frame to just taking it off the transition period was pretty good no real shock you can see how big some of the spinach is getting already it's a big spinach the lettuce is starting to get pretty big carrots we had to come out and pull some of these mustard greens because they're just getting they're getting too big already. They're take, starting to take over. So we actually ate some mustard greens today. A decent amount of them. It's pretty good. We had our one of our last cold nights. Hopefully last night it was about 35 or 36. So everything sh everything survived well, and that should be the coldest night. We still got our pineapple going, and it looks like it's growing. We're excited about that. And you can see again, if you can see, mushrooms back there. Mushrooms back there. Then this this path, we got a lot of corn and potatoes. You can see all the potatoes have really come up the past week or so. There's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's gotta be 20, 15 potatoes path in here. Among the potatoes, you can see there's corn. More corn, beans, corn here, patches of corn. Then behind here we got some beans and stuff. Other things haven't come up. And let me show you one of the little cold fingers that my brother put together. How amazing everything's coming. Whoa. Look at this. Look at the size of those potatoes already. The size of those potatoes. They're getting huge in the corn. This one again, we got potatoes, corn, but look at that. Look at the size of this potato is just taking over. The corn is trying to poke through. I hope it will. We've got the corn and potatoes, and again, here, corn, some onions. They love it in here. Look at the size of this potato. Thing is just blowing up. You can go check my other videos. I said they're dating them. This has to be in like a week, and it's got this big. And then back here, the cell's doing well. Another one back there. And then we planted all corn along here. And I'm excited to show you guys some of the hula bed hit now because the hula culture. What's going on, YouTube? Coming back at you, showing you guys the hula culture bed. Uh, I was just doing some watering and uh, wanted to show you guys the rest of it. You can see it's coming along pretty well. A bunch of beans and stuff popping up through those sticks that we laid down. Just as like small microclimates for things to climb up and stuff. Take a little shade. Over here, a bunch of lettuces, onions, some spinach down in the front. You can see that this uh, peas as low as here, as high as there. It's peas, beans, brassicas. More peas and they're the first to pop up is some nasturtium, some marigold, onion, more peas. This one's densely planted over here. Coming along well. Peas and beans and such. This should be filling out in the near future. 
and behind us. This is all planted, obviously, too. Even coming down the front. So for this distance of about two feet, we're getting a lot of space to plant up and down, you can see. A bunch of things coming up over here. As well as over here. And then you can see we have our onions and stuff. A nice corn patch up here. One, two, three, four, seven or eight corns. Another one in the front. Some onion planted all the way up the front too. And you can, and the pumpkin's coming along good. It's starting to get ready to put its true leaves out. Uh, pea that we first put in is like doing well. Stuff back's here doing good. Looks like maybe a cucumber or something. Stuff's all coming out in the back. Everything's like it's liking it. Another pumpkin we got back there. Another nasturtium. I love the nasturtiums going up the sides. They're just, they look awesome to me, I think. So that's the hula culture bed. That one's really coming up. And the other side is planted also, you can see. A bunch of brassicas and stuff. So I wanted to show you guys how we're getting pretty much the mycorrhizal association going out through all the garden, the whole garden now. I showed you it in the front, and I was back here doing some watering because I don't water, I'm not going to water the plants once they're big and grown, but there's a lot of things that are still coming up and that are still very small. So I'm just giving them a little water when it's real sunny out. There's a mushroom right there. So this is, this is in the back corner of the garden. So, it's it's come through out back here, right here too. And like I said in other videos, this the mushroom is just the fruiting part. The hyphae is all underneath. So this whole ground underneath here is all full of the mycorrhizae association, which the plants will just tap into, just trade trade on and off symbiotically all the nutrients they need. They'll uh, trade it back and forth. Piece of grass. So that's exactly what we're looking for. So we're, we're we're happy about that. It's pretty good. So things are coming along. Thanks for watching, guys. And we wanted to tell you too that you have obviously you've been watching. We didn't inoculate well, inoculate them with any spores or anything. This is just natural how the mushrooms came up. So you don't have to inoculate them. It might, sometimes they say it took a little, takes a little longer, but it took a couple months, <laughs> not even. So you could do it naturally, and that's how we try to do it. It's definitely cost effective because we didn't have to pay for any spores or anything because they're pretty expensive if you guys looked them up. But we also planted some tomatoes in here and stuff, and we'll bring you guys along, show you when things get bigger. We planted that side of the garden, and there's a bunch of potatoes and stuff coming up, but they're still small, so. I'll show you, show you more as they get bigger. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for following along. James Pagioni is out.